Now it's time to check out your reactors and in chemical engineering the main difference between the mechanical and chemical engineer is that we use reactions. What do we use in reactions? We have several raw material called reactants. They will react according on pressure, temperature and other conditions such as catalyst to form a product, typically a desired product. Now we have four main types of reactors that we study in chemical engineering at the bachelor level. Batch reactor, which is nothing more than a vessel. You put all the materials inside, they react, and you take them away. Continuous steel tank reactor, nothing more than a similar to a batch, but you have continuous flow. Block flow reactors are a very interesting type of reactors because you have piping, and they react as they go through the pipe. So that's interesting as well. Modeling is also a little bit complex if you have some different radial effects and so on. PBR or the so-called packed bed reactors is nothing more than a reactor which has several packaging and you will force the interaction between phases in order to favor a production of product. So the reactants will be interacting with the catalyst and a product goes out. Okay, so those are the several, the most common types of reactors batch reactor, tank reactor, block flow reactor, and packed bed reactor.